Uh, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. I uh, just want to report on this because this is absolutely huge news. And like everything that's coming out now that's important, it's either not reported or it's totally um, distorted. So this is an article that came out at 6 p.m. last night, I think, uh, Eastern Time on the United St States. The United States Senate uh, voted unanimously to pass a law supporting the Hong Kong student protesters. Uh, and this is uh, an article by Michael um, uh, yeah, uh, on this. U.S. relations with China were just destroyed and nothing will ever be the same again. Our relationship with China just went from bad to worse and most Americans don't even realise that we just witnessed one of the most critical foreign policy decisions of this century. The U.S. Senate just unanimously passed the Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act of 2019 and the Chinese are absolutely seething with anger. Violent protests have been rocking Hong Kong for months and the Chinese have report, repeatedly accused the United States of being behind the protests. Whether this is true or not, the US Senate has openly sided with the protesters by passing the law, this bill, and there is no turning back. So, uh, just with one vote, they've proved the Chinese r right. The protesters in Hong Kong have been waving American flags, singing our national anthem. They've made it exceedingly clear that they want independence from China. And all of us should be certainly able to understand why they'd want that, because China is a deeply tyrannical regime. But the Chinese government, uh, this move by the US Senate, is essentially an assault on China itself. They are going to argue, uh, correctly, that the US is inciting a revolution in Hong Kong, and after what the Senate has done, it'll be very difficult to claim that this is not true. The Chinese take matters of internal security very seriously, and the state of Hong Kong is one of those issues that they are super sensitive about. China will never, never, ever compromise when it comes to Hong Kong, and if the US keeps pushing this issue, it could literally take us to the brink of a military conflict. So you can forget about a comprehensive trade agreement ever happening. Even if a Democrat is elected in 2020, that Democrat is going to go is going to back what the Senate just did. That is why it was such a major deal that this bill was passed by unanimous consent. It sent a message to the Chinese that Republicans and Democrats are united on this issue and that the next election is not going to change anything. And that's all while uh, we have this inquisition against Donald Trump. And the trade deal that President Trump was trying to put together was already an exceedingly shaking ground. Phase one was extremely limited. Nothing was ever put in writing and nothing was ever signed. And in recent days, it became quite clear that both sides couldn't even agree what phase one was supposed to cover. So I won't uh, read uh, uh, the whole article. I'll leave the, uh, the description below. Um, this is from uh, Zero Hedge this morning. Future slide after House joins Senate in landslide vote backing Hong Kong protesters. Trump expected to sign bill. So that's what happened. Uh, kind of that was the deal delay, and this was the uh, the vote. So anyway, this is extremely alarming. Uh, stuff and it indicates uh, that at the very least nobody in the American political system um, or uh, sorry a lot of people in the American sy political system want America to go to war and no doubt um, of course they've got so much debt that sooner or later 
uh, they won't even be getting making enough from taxes and the like uh, to, to pay the interest on the loans. And of course, then they'll have to go to war to uh, to you know to solve this insoluble problem. Anyway, I'm leaving it. I'm very tired, and I'm just leaving it at that for now.